Brown last night, beating out Connecticut. I want to thank all that my sisters behind me. We've had a wonderful week together, and I love each and every one of you. Nia Slade in an evening gown. As Miss America, I will continue my work to make sure students across this nation have access to a quality education. Impressed all the judges with her answer during the Q&A. I grew up at a predominantly Caucasian school, and there was only a 5% minority, and I felt out of place so much because of the color of my skin. And killed it with her talent. <laughs> guests to join us. Take a look. The moment Miss Mia Franklin became Miss America 2019. This was on Sunday night. So what do you say? Let's bring her out right now. The new Miss America. So we just saw it again. Mm -hmm. What was that moment? What was going through your mind? When you heard your name? It was so surreal. My mind actually went blank for a moment mm -hmm. because I was just taking it all in. I think I shed one tear, but I was also just so in, in shock that it was actually happening. Something I've been working for for something I've been working for for so long actually mm -hmm. came true. Yeah. And and this was called Miss America 2.0. Yes. The chairwoman Gretchen Carlson. She announced contestants would no longer be judged on their outward physical appearance, which is a really big thing. It was the first ever First ever time we did not see a swimsuit competition, yes. which is huge. And what does it mean for you to be a part of this year's event? It's a part, I'm a part of history. This is the first time that we uh, haven't had the swimsuit competition. The, uh, Miss America started off with a swimsuit competition. But I think it's important that we're evolving, and I'm so excited to be a part of a new era. I'm the first Miss America 2.0, and I really want to do the most that I can this year to really have a firm foundation going forward. And you've been involved. Does it feel any different? this time being in this competition yes as opposed to others yes i i was just telling some people i i had the most fun i've ever had at a, at a competition and i think it's because a lot of that pressure was off about the physical appearance have uh, in your mind and in your heart mm. and in the rainy mrs america cara munn she she called for the resignation of gretchen carlson and the rest of the board claiming she was bullied and also that she was silenced but after all of this controversy how can miss america move forward from what has been turbulent this past year we can move forward by making sure that we are invested in our organization more than we ever have been. And it's important that people know that this is a scholarship organization. That's the whole reason I got involved. My mm -hmm. father was diagnosed with cancer back in 2011 and lost his job a few years later. And I really had to find a way to put myself through school. Mm -hmm. I have my master's degree in music composition. And so I reached out and became a part of this great organization. And it's done so much for me just mm -hmm. as far as furthering my, com my, my education. Yeah, and you speak of your father. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. When I saw him in the audience, Bless your heart. You were a stem cell donor. My, my, my sister was my stem cell donor, and you were for your father. What did it mean to look at and see both your parents there? It, it just meant the world. They have always supported me and my goals. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when I was in high school, my mom decided to help me get voice lessons because I mm -hmm. wanted to study classical voice so that I could go and be a music composer. And they've just supported me every step of the way. They were just beaming for me, and so I'm so excited that I made them proud. I'm glad your dad is doing well. And your mom, well, she's a school teacher, fourth grade. Fourth grade. I bet they're big. Can you imagine that? <laughs> yes, that, they, that, yes. you're, that you're teaching? Her daughter is Miss America. And the messages she must have gotten from them? Yes, they actually wrote some letters to me and she brought them up with her to Atlantic City. And they literally was so heartwarming. They made me tear up during the week. And everyone in her class wrote me a letter and <laughs> they said things like, You can do this, Mia. You just have to believe in yourself. And they even drew pictures of me. And it was really that extra push that I needed, that extra motivation from children because I care so deeply about them. And it actually goes along with my social in initiative impact. And so it was just the best thing ever. And we know growing up, you mentioned that you felt out of place. Because yeah. you were in a, a primarily a white school. Yeah. You felt like you were out of place. What do you have as a message to kids out there who may be struggling to connect? Maybe they feel a little bit out of, out of place as well. For me, it was getting involved with the arts, getting in, in my chorus class and even bass. And I definitely want everyone to get involved in the arts because I think mm. they're amazing. And studies show there's so many facts out there about that. But whatever it is, if it's sports, if it's the debate club, if it's chess, whatever you can find that makes you figure out who you are uh, as a person, what can develop your skills and your interpersonal skills, that's how people can find their place 